Hey, 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 Lindsay Banks here, psychic, medium, intuitive, um, and energy healer. Thank you very much for coming through and for clicking through to watch this video. So I wanted to share with you the words of William Wallace. So through lockdown, I've had various leaders from the past coming through to give me their words about the current situation um, and what's going on. So on the 23rd of August, I was basically having visions of Braveheart. I kept seeing Mel Gibson as Braveheart. Then a friend rung me and happened to mention William Wallace. I then led a guided meditation and again, I felt his energy coming through. I went for a walk through a graveyard and the opening line that I got in my mind was, you're going to need balls of steel, lass. So this is what else William Wallace shared. And this isn't just for me, but this is for everyone. Leading from the front requires courage. Leading from the front in a way which is true to you and honouring your soul takes even more courage. When I was alive, we channeled our anger by picking up our tools. We fought with our heads. Eagles coming into play and power trips. This battle requires coming from your heart, from a place of love. No violence, no weapons merely your heart and your voices. This I would have found very difficult. Imagine a big strong Scottish guy trying to win a battle with his voice. I had a loud voice, don't get me wrong, and it may have frightened away the meek, but not the strong. We didn't know any better. It was indoctrinated within us from an early age that battles had to be fought with weapons. We didn't need to be clever, just brutal. I was good at that and I had to be. Your battle is more challenging, but not unachievable. Many voices are louder than one. What is a prime minister anyway? It's a label given to someone to lead the country. Your leader is weak and fragile. I would have knocked him over by breathing on him. His foundation is not solid. The structure of the government is not solid. Just because things have always been a certain way does not mean they have to continue. A shambles they have made, or I and be grateful for that. If they weren't cocking up as much, there would be no need for you to all join together and unite. This is the time to stand up for your sovereignty. He then puffed out his chest and was holding like a spear or a flag on top of a hill. This is the time for you all to stand up for your freedom. I very much enjoyed the Mel Gibson movie Braveheart. However, it has hopefully prepared you to fight for your freedom, your freedom of speech, your freedom of movement, your freedom of the life you were born here to have. There are plenty of resources in this world for every single person to have access to food, water, shelter and safety. Those in power, control, authority got greedy and refused to share. I was also killed for speaking my truth. Yes, I killed many along the way and of course, as you know, it was my choice to exit Earth in this way. This time there will be no sacrifices in your battle. No one will be killed for standing up and speaking their truth. And I put in brackets, I said, that's a bold statement to make. So he said, what I mean is that there will be no innocent bystanders along the way. Keep your protests peaceful. Battle with your hearts, keep your vibes high and do not be swayed by external circumstances. You believe in yourself, Lindsay, as do I. I wish you all well on this journey. And please know that myself and other leaders are with you all. So I wanted to just share those words of wisdom from William Wallace. If you haven't already, do check out my videos with Princess Diana, Martin Luther King, Abraham Lincoln, just to name but a few of these fearless leaders from the past who have been coming through to share their words of wisdom for all of us. If you've enjoyed this, please do give it a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Namaste.